Okay, so, or, sorry, I look super bad. I'm doing absolutely nothing today except like make videos because it's icy and cold and snowy outside and it's just miserable and I don't want to go to the barn because it's freezing and it's not good, you know, for Dixie to be ridden in the cold and it's not good for me to be out in the cold. So, I decided to make a video instead. So, um, this video is going to be like about the difference between ponies and horses, and I know most of you guys probably know the difference, but a lot of people actually don't. It's really kind of it's frustrating sometimes, especially like if you supposedly know what you're talking about and you just like I don't know, you just you just don't. Okay, so the basic difference between ponies and horses is ponies are obviously a lot smaller. Ponies can range in like high, like I think the tallest a pony can be is 14.2. So anything below 14.2 is considered a pony. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it works. Okay. And then like anything above is considered a horse. So like um, you have Dale's ponies, Dartmoor ponies, Shetland ponies, and you, obviously those are a lot smaller than your reverse your paint, your, I mean, Clyde still does more blood, and that's obviously, obviously just a big difference. So when people talk about, like, you know, or they come into the barn, and this one girl, she's a little I feel bad for kind of, like, hating on her. She, I don't think she really knows any better, but she came up to me, she's like, oh my gosh, your pony's so cute, and I'm like, okay, she's like, is she a Shetland pony? No, she's a quarter horse Shetland pony, they're like, this tall, you know, not very big. I was just kind of like, I hope you learn better, because you come back and you are saying that. So you might just hit you because, like, it's so weird. Okay. Sorry, I just got text. All the water froze off the bar. So, so bad. Okay. Mm. Okay, so, I'm talking about the, I don't know if all of you know what hands means. That's what horses are measured in. So when I say 14.2 hands, a hand is considered to be four inches. So, like, an easy way to do it is if you have, maybe you can see if your hands are bigger than mine, then that's different, you know. Okay, so a hand basically is this width right here from here to here. So that's roughly about four inches. So four inches equals a hand. So, like, if you were to take your horse and you just go like this, then you can get a rough estimate about, like, how tall your horse is. So, um... Just some facts about ponies. Ponies tend to have a little bit more of a attitude than horses do because they're like, I'm tiny but mighty. They got that, got that whole like ego thing going. It's kind of funny. And then there are horses that are like, you know, chill most of the time. Somewhere, somewhere. So, um. Ponies are really good for, like, young children because they're not big, so, like, a little 8-year-old and they're handling the handle, like, this huge, like, 16-hand, you know, quarter horse that could end badly just in case anything were to happen. So, ponies can, I mean, even though they have more attitude, kids kind of have the attitude to match. So, they're good just size-wise and proportionate-wise for children. And ponies tend to be really, ponies are so smart. Like, people use Shetland ponies for, like, seeing eye ponies. Like, seeing eye dogs, except, like, mm. po ponies, sorry. Yeah. So they're, like, super smart, and so they're, e I mean, they're easy to teach, and they're just fun. <laughs> they're just fun, you know? Ponies. Everybody. We actually, I guess he's not a pony, but... We got a miniature horse at our barn. Her name, or her name was Junebug, and they changed it. I heard that was changed for her name. I don't know. I still call her Junebug. And it, I think I named her Tinkerbell now. 
so but anyway she's just fun to mess with and then like where I bought my horse from they had a little shallow pony named Concho he was the cutest thing he was the cutest little thing ever like when we were going trail rides he would like herd the other horses away from us he was like these are my people yeah it's just they're fun okay but the, I mean anyway the different there is a different like there's different pony breeds like Dale's Pony, Dartmoor Pony, Pony of Americas. A lot of people in my barn ride those. Um, I actually have a big book here. Not Shetland ponies. Um, oh, they're so cute. Cell ponies, Eskimo ponies. Shire is not one. Um, and then of course you have your. Um, these are all horses from Europe. You live in Europe. Okay. Yeah, we want horses that people are familiar with. Danish one, but those are horses. Uh, horses. The American. Okay. So I'm gonna show you the Pony of America. Pony of America, kind of like, um, well, I guess it says they have the 3.2 height thing. So I guess they kind of qualify in the height range. But there is um some P POAs out at my barn that actually. There's one that's like taller than my horse. If they get their permanent high card, then they can stay like qualified as Pony of America. And if they don't get their permanent high card, then they qualify as Appaloosa. So I'll just show you a picture. I'll just take a picture. They don't have a picture. picture. Just kidding. Okay, so the spot. No, I lost it. My bad. Maybe come back. There we go. Okay. So that is a pony in America right there. No, they all look like that. I thought they were all gold, but they don't look like that all the time. Okay, they come in like Appaloosa variations. So if you know what an Appaloosa is, POAs are just mini versions. So, and then I'm going to use the quarter horse as an example because they're pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so most of you know what polar horses are. You know, there's a big AQHA world here in Oklahoma City. What up? Go to that every year. It's so much fun. They just get meet new people and, like, you get tips about showing and you get to see, like, different training tips and you get to meet the vets and various and it's just awesome. Um, so horses are more meant for heavier style work, such as, um, Driving, barrel racing, jumping, western pleasure, raining. You would use a horse for that. You would or gaming and you would you wouldn't use a pony for that. Whereas ponies, I guess I mean people use ponies for driving all the time. But ponies are more for like little kids just learning, teaching lessons. And they're they're just ponies are good for teaching. But if you want to get competitive, you I mean you're really not I mean, you can't ride a pony your entire life. Because eventually, like, your legs end up being longer than the pony is. So it doesn't really work. Um. Oh, here's an Appaloosa. But. Yeah, so POAs can, I mean, they look like Appaloosas except smaller. Okay. Um. I think that's basically it. If you guys have like any questions or comments or suggestions, please comment below. Please subscribe. Thank you. And we will try to upload like two, three videos a week. Because it's fun and get a lot of our chest. Stress. It's not good. Okay. Thank you guys. Comment below.